Hello my little friends, hope all of you are doing very good. Today I am back again with a very interesting story and it's a beautiful story which gives you a beautiful lesson at the end of the story. The name of the story is The Intelligent Student. So here this story is all about the most intelligent student of a guru or you can say a teacher whom he was searching for to get his daughter married with and at last he found one. Let's see how he found the most eligible and intelligent of his pupil for his daughter. So let's begin. You will also read with me. I will read the story and go on explaining the story to you. Okay. So once upon a time, there was a center of learning in Banaras. So this story took place in Banaras. There were many students studying in that center. So in the center, in the study center in Banaras, there were many students who go there to study. Dharmananda was their teacher. And who was the teacher at that center? The name of the teacher was Dharmananda. He had only one daughter named Sugunavati. So Dharmananda had a daughter whose name was Sugunavati. She was a beautiful looking girl for whom her father was searching for an intelligent student among his own pupils. So his father Dharmananda was searching for an eligible, um, like you can say, an uh, eligible man, an eligible man for his daughter. Okay, so uh, and he was searching one of uh, the eligible person for his daughter among from among his pupils. He was searching for an eligible groom, you can say. But he was worried on how to judge the intelligence of his students. Now what he had to do? He can't uh, get her daughter married to any of the person. He needs to find the most intelligent of his students. From his students he was searching for the most intelligent boy with whom she could get his daughter married. Okay, so he made a plan and so he started making plans that how he would find an eligible boy, an intelligent boy for his daughter. So what he did, one evening all the students were sitting with their teacher. So one evening the students were sitting with their teacher. Oh my students, I wish to arrange the marriage of my daughter Sugunavati, but I don't have the capacity to get her special costumes and jewels. So he said to his peoples that he is planning to get his daughter married. So, but as his financial condition is not so good. He can't arrange for, uh, can't arrange any special or costly costumes and jewels for her. Can anybody do that job for me? So he asked his pupils that any one of you can arrange some uh, uh, money or something so that I can buy costumes and jewels for my daughter. Then he continued, suppose any of you were to steal and bring them to your teacher, then nobody should see you stealing. And suppose if any one of you uh, steal something, either you steal money or, or either you steal something costly so that I can give um, I can arrange a good marriage for my daughter but remember one thing in mind nobody should see you stealing them he said this to his 
pupils. The students carefully listened to what the teacher said. And the students, all the students listened very carefully what their teacher said to them. From then onwards, each of them started bringing articles secretly and handing them over to the teacher. They were all stolen things. Then from that time, all of them started to bring some or the other things for their teachers and they handed them to their teachers. But all these things were stolen. One student named Gunashil didn't bring any article. He looked depressed. Gunashil, why did you not uh, why did you not stealing anything? The teacher asked. But one of his students, his name was Gunashil, his he didn't bring anything for his teacher. Now his teacher asked Gunashil, why haven't you brought anything for me, Gunashil? Now what he replied, just listen to it carefully. Sir, I could have done it, but you said that nobody should see it. It was not possible. No one may see, but I would definitely see what I do. Now understand students, is there anything more than self-conscience? Gunashil replied. So, here the story gets a twist. Now what Gunashil said that sir, I could have easily done it as all the pupils of yours have already brought something or the other things and gave it to you. I could have al also done it. But you said that you will steal but nobody will see you stealing. That was not possible. How that was not possible? He said, I agreed that no people might see that I am stealing. But what? That I am seeing myself. What about my self-consciousness? I am stealing something. I know that. The, others people, the other people might not know it. But I am aware that I am not doing a right thing. I am moving in a wrong path. I am doing a wrong job. How I can hide me from myself? Is that possible, sir? So he asked his teacher, Is that anything more than self-consciousness? Fine, Gunashil. I was in search of a student like you. You are intelligent. This was the thing the teacher was looking for and he was very impressed with what Gunashil had done and he said to Gunashil, yes, this is the thing I wanted. You are very clever, a very intelligent boy. You know what is right and what is not. I don't need luxury. I just made a plan to search for an intelligent person for my daughter. The teacher said that I do not need any luxury. I just made this plan, plan to search an intelligent eligible boy with whom I can get my daughter married to. Stealing, even for a good cause, is wrong, said the teacher appreciating him. Dharmananda said that stealing is any way it's wrong. Maybe it, for a, it is for a good reason and or a bad reason. Stealing is wrong and you have proved it that you are an honest person. So I am very impressed with your act and I have made a plan that I will get my daughter married to you. 
Dharmananda then ordered his pupils to return the articles to their respective owners. So Dharmananda said to all other students that please go and return the things from whom you have brought them. I don't need these things. I was just looking for a person who is intelligent enough to understand his own own self-consciousness right student so soon after that what happened soon uh, Sugunavati was married to Gunashil and eventually Sugunavati got married to Gunashil so what lesson we have learned you have all understood right your self conscious conscious is the most important thing so do nothing that may hurt it so it is said that you must be aware of what you are doing and your conscience will only tell you that you are doing the right thing or you are doing a wrong thing. Follow your conscience and move in a right path. This is all about the story. Hope you all understood the story and you have liked the story very much. I need you to remember the lessons of each and every story so that you can move forward in your life with a honest thought in it might be difficult to move forward but remain honest honesty as we know is the best policy and we should follow it okay students that all for today and we will meet in our next story session hope you are li liking my channel so please subscribe to my channel those who have not subscribed yet and like the video you can check my other two channels links will be there in the description box okay that's all for today have a great day ahead bye bye